What is up guys, Son of Canadian Rider here. Today I'm going to be doing a full review of the BC Racing BR Series coilovers for my 2008 Audi R8. So you guys have seen, I got the BC Racing coilovers, I installed them myself on the car. If you haven't seen those videos, check it out in the card above. But pretty simple process actually on this car. You would think for a supercar like a 2008 Audi R8, you know, it'd be a much harder process. We did take out the magnetic ride suspension and I talked about some of the reasons why. On these models of the Audi R8, you have to be aware that all the mag rides on them all fail eventually. It's a factory defect. It's leaking, like there's a lot of oil um, a lot of stuff built up over time. Um, so this was made in France. This is a Delphi product from Audi. So what you can do is get $2,000 replacements on each corner of the car, or you go with an aftermarket version. So I went ahead, I looked at different options. You know, I, I researched a lot online and the BC Racing options, the coilovers, add way more flexibility to your car and if you want to lower it a little bit, which I did as you can see from these videos here um, and in the install video, but it's at a significantly cheaper price. We're talking for a full set in Canadian dollars, um, it was around $2,200, which is phenomenal value compared to getting OEM replacements that are eventually going to fail anyway. So it's pretty much a no brainer if you get this car and you either have magnetic ride suspension or you're looking for another suspension option, these BC Racing coilovers, the BR series, really strike a great balance of performance and value for the car. So I've had the coilovers now for about three, four months and I wanted to make sure I really did a good drive with them. I went around a lot of different roads, you know, daily driving it, um, taking it in some of the twisties, just making sure like I'm trying to evaluate how it felt compared to the magnetic ride suspension. And let me tell you, it is 95% of the way there without adjustment. Um, so right out stock when you have it delivered, they already have it pre-configured for you and adjusted. So I installed that and actually what I found was it was a bit too bouncy. I found the ride was, it was really good, really responsive and the install was really easy and the product is of super high quality. But when I had it installed, I felt like it was just a little bit too bouncy. We're on a on-ramp here, give it some. A little bit too bouncy for my like. So, you know, I drove around with that for about a month and I thought, okay, the coilovers are great otherwise, a little bit too bouncy, but you can adjust it. So all four sides, you can adjust the stiffness of the settings. So I went ahead, um, two or three, no, it was actually two settings so, uh, harder that I switched over from the stock alignment or the stock settings and it transformed the way I thought about the coilovers to the degree where, you know, instead of 95 or 90% 90 of the way there, compared to the magnetic ride suspension, it is like 98% of the way there. It is honestly quite identical now to the performance of the, of the OEM magnetic ride shocks that I had previously in this car. And let me explain a few things about that first. Number one, the mag rides did a really, really good job in making sure that when you go over bumps, you're really not feeling them too much and you have that you know, softness, but still the stiffness that you want, especially on a supercar or sports car like the Audi R8. With the, when I first installed the BC Racing coilovers, you know, I thought, you know what, these are a little bit too much on the soft side. What I ended up doing is making sure that, you know, I adjusted those settings, two settings more to the hardness setting or the stiffness, and it is quite literally now, I can't tell the difference between the two other than obviously the ability in your car to actually stiffen it at a push of a button, you lose that capability. With the BC Racing coilovers, you also have to get the kit that essentially plugs into the computer to trick the computer and saying you don't have mag ride suspension right now, but it's gonna take off the check engine light from your dash. So um, you have to make sure that you actually do that or otherwise you're gonna have that check engine light. You could possibly put tape over it. I'm not the type of guy that likes putting tape over my dash. So I went ahead and I bought the kit, the, the KW um, eliminator kit to go ahead and remove that. Um, Otherwise, I've been driving it for three months, and if you talk about you know response out of a turn, um, how comfortable I felt coming out of turns or in tight corners, first off, in terms of that spirited driving, I did not feel an impact after I adjusted the settings. At first, yes, it was a bit too soft, and I felt that. And it was making the car feel a little bit unplanted, if you will, 
but now that's completely changed. Now the fact that I adjusted the settings and now it's much stiffer, I can't tell the difference between the Magna Ride suspension and the new BC Racing coilover suspension, which is really good. And it speaks to kind of the value of the product. And those coilovers are made really well. Like it was a really well-made product. Now the other thing I wanna talk about is kind of like the daily driving. You guys know I don't take this car to the track that often. I am taking it this year once, which is gonna be cool, but I don't take it to the track that often. So actually daily driving usability is really important for me. And it says something because I originally thought it was too soft. It was too lenient on the bumps and it wasn't as planted as I would like originally. So that's why I went ahead and stiffened it up. And I have to say, like right now I'm driving with it and I'm on these really bad roads uh, on the highway. They haven't fixed these. And it is very compliant. It's not as soft and lofty as I originally had it. It's stiffened up quite a bit now, but it still makes me feel comfortable in the car that I have these um, coilovers on. Now the other thing is, is that, you know, the BR series, you can go ahead and adjust the settings to, you know, how you like your ride height. Personally, I kept the ride height pretty similar to stock. I, I lowered it just a tad. I wanted to just get a little bit lower, but I didn't want to go crazy. But you have that ability to, with the magnetic ride suspension, you don't have that ability. So not only are you getting a replacement suspension for a really bad, reliability on those magnetic ride shocks in the Audi R8, but you also gain the adjustability that you couldn't get previously um, without losing too much in terms of, you know, you, you do lose the ability to turn it on and off or stiffen it at the press of a button. But to be honest with you, that's not too much of a big deal. If you want to go to the track, you know, jack it up, take off your tires and just go ahead and adjust the settings really quickly and easily with the knob. Um, I, I really find that if you have this car, or even if you're looking for BC Racing coilovers and a BR series, you're looking for great value and great performance out of a series of coilovers, these are it. Like, I don't know what else you could possibly want that's like next level. Yes, you could go bags. Yes, you could get replacement magnetic ride suspension and worry about, you know, the failure happening in like three, four years, God knows when, but it will happen. But I think this is, this is to be honest, the only good option. This and the KW. The KW series, they make great coilovers, but those are about double the price of the BC Racing coilovers. Um, I think the KWs in Canada are about $5,000 um, compared to this kit, which is less than half of that. So it is quite a good kit um, for the price. Price is there. Performance is there, not out of the box, adjusted to two settings stiffer for performance um, to be comparable to your magnetic ride suspension that you had, if that's your goal, it certainly was mine. And in terms of reliability and about BC Racing, like they make coilovers for every car you can imagine. They are a very successful company because they make great quality products at a good price. And you know, I don't want to necessarily spend right now in my life five or six thousand dollars in coilovers when I could get a really good product that gets me like 98% of the way there to the OEM solution that I had on this car for like $2,200 Canadian. And it's even cheaper for my US friends. So I think these coilovers, and I've evaluated them, it's been about three months now, really good value. If you have this car, if you have any car, you're looking for a really good value kit that's high quality, Honestly, I, I, I don't know how I cannot recommend you to BC Racing for these coilovers. Haven't had any problems with them so far. You know, how long will they last? Well, if you look at reviews online, these things are rock solid reliable. So I have no like, you know, thing in my head saying they're, they're only gonna last so long. Most, be, most coilovers are pretty reliable if they're made by reputable brands. And these ones, no different. You know, just because they're for the Audi R8 or they're for a BMW M3, um, the build quality is there. So I'm really happy with it. Um, definitely for the people that are looking, make sure when you do evaluate like KW, um, BC Racing, I think are two really good options for this car. And don't go with the OEM uh, replacement because they, they eventually will all fail. And I'm telling you right now, I don't notice a difference between the mag rides and this after about three months of driving, three or four months of driving. Um, and that's me being really particular and I'm trying to actually find out like what it is. And at first, yes, it was too bouncy and I was kind of like disappointed. And I was like, you know what, let me adjust it. That's what those settings are for. And you know, I was really happy um, being very picky when I say disappointed, it was still really good, just a little bit too bouncy for me. 
So let me know you guys' thoughts, guys. I, I really thought it was a great purchase. The installation was really easy. You know, they give you this box that has all the instructions and tools necessary um, to get the install done. Um, on this car specifically, it was a super easy installation. Um, I couldn't be happier. The product was of high quality. And um, so far, performance on the road has been spectacular. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And for the price, it's you can't compare it. You literally can't compare it for the price, especially compared to a lot of the options available for this car. But even for, you know, you think about BC Racing coilovers for other cars, what other cars you may have. I think these are one of the best bang for the buck value items you could get if you're looking to change up your suspension or if your suspension's gone and you're looking for a new one completely. So definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have BC Racing coilovers in your cars? I want to hear your experience. Um, you know, how long have you had them for? How is your installation like? I have dealt with their customer service team as of yet because um, I haven't had any problems so let me know in the comments down below guys if you guys like this video make sure you give it a like um, subscribe to the channel as well we got so many subscribers now we're almost at 20,000 subscribers which is pretty crazy so I just want to say thank you guys so much that's really incredible and I'm really trying to like make videos to help people out um, help car guys help motorcycle guys out like with all this kind of stuff with cars because this is my passion I love doing this and it's like a beautiful sunny day right now and I'm just driving in my dream car if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. I'd love to hear your experiences, guys, with these coilovers or other brands, you know. I know the KWs are really good. Just let me know. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope this helped. Peace.